to California. As soon as we went across the Hudson and got out of New York, it was very bad. We went to San Francisco to play at the Fillmore, and we were not well received by the owner. <laughs> I still don't understand why he bothered to book us, because he obviously hated us. We all thought that we were really great, but obviously no one else did. At the time, they dressed in black with black shades. It had a very evil overtone to it, like they were keeping the world at as much distance as possible. The people on the West Coast couldn't relate to them, a place where everything was supposed to be all open and flower child. And the vibe lyrically was, you know, unicorns and magic and mushrooms. And Lou's writing was such a hard, sober bit of reality compared to that. The Velvet Underground were cynical and they were gritty in the same way that New York streets are gritty. And I remember after the performance in San Francisco, the Velvets turned all their instruments on and left them near the speakers so they just created noise. And they all just walked away. God, we were so mad. We wanted to get out of there. I hated San Francisco. I hated hippies. Hippies were scum.